Apple introduced the Quick Note feature in iPadOS 15 last year, it was one of the best features with the ability to start taking notes from anywhere on your device. Now that feature has been released in iOS 16, bringing quick note taking to the iPhone. Let me show you how to enable and get started using quick note on your iPhone. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Apple couldn't integrate Quick Note on the iPhone as it did on the Mac and iPad. Instead, you'll need to access this feature via the Control Center, Share Sheet, and Share Menu. Let's start by setting Quick Note up in the Control Center. Open the Settings app, scroll to Control Center, scroll down until you see More Controls, look for Quick Note. Hit the plus sign, and now you'll see the Quick Note has been added to the Control Center. If you want to see it in a different order, grab onto the handlebars and drag Quick Note to the order in which you want to see it. Another suggestion I would make is if you want to be able to access Quick Note in every app, go ahead and toggle on the switch that says Access Within Apps. To access Quick Note from the Control Center, you'll want to swipe down from the upper right corner of your screen to come into the Control Center, locate the Quick Note icon, tap to open it, and here you can add whatever it is, whether it's text or, or you're pasting something in there, whatever it is, I'm going to just go ahead and paste something in there. You'll also notice that all of the formatting tools and features uh, are provided there. So you can do markup or add a photo or take a photo. So all of the, the tools that you need are there. When you're finished, go ahead and tap on save. The share sheet gives you a powerful way to save quick notes in almost any app. This makes creating a note more manageable because it appears anytime you touch the share button. Let me show you how it works in Safari. So I'm I'm on a, a website, as you can see, Mac Rumors, and if I tap on the share icon at the bottom of the screen, I'll have an option if I scroll up to add to Quick Note. I can go ahead and tap on that, and now you'll see that that uh, note has been has been added, or that website has been added to Quick Note. And then I can add whatever text or notes that I need to refer to this. And when I'm finished, I can go ahead and tap on save. To access your quick notes, you'll want to come into the notes app. So I'm just going to pull down on the screen to access the search area. And I'm going to start typing in notes. Once I see the notes app appear, I'll tap to open it. And then I'll want to come back to the folders area. And right at the top, you're going to see a area called Quick Notes. Tap on that, and here's where you'll find all of the Quick Notes that you've saved. Let's say you want to save text from a website. Well, that's easy to do. Just push and hold on an area of text that you want to save, and then select all of the text using the handlebars there. And once you have the text that you want to save, Tap on the little arrow at the end of the pop-up that appeared, tap it again, and you're going to see an option for new quick note. Tap on that. Now that text has been placed inside of a quick note, and you can just tap save to save it. And you can access it the previous way that I showed by opening the notes app. When Apple said that you could save uh, a quick note from almost anywhere, they really delivered. So let me show you how you can do this inside the Voice Memos app. So I'm just going to pull down on the screen to access search and start typing in Voice Memos. I'm going to tap that to open. And if I tap on a recording, 
and choose the more icon, the circle with three dots and tap on that. Now you'll see down below an option for new quick note. Go ahead and tap on that. And now you can add a quick note relating to that particular uh, voice memo. I'm just gonna tap on paste and tap on save. And now that has been added to quick notes in the notes app. While there's no way to delete quick note uh, from your iPhone, you can disable it by going back to settings, tapping on control center, selecting and tapping on the little red minus sign next to quick note, and then tapping remove. And then swipe down from the upper right corner to access the control center and you'll see that the quick note has been removed from the control center. What's the difference between notes and quick notes? To add a note, you have to open the notes app. With quick note, you can share from anywhere and any app on your iPhone. Quick notes on the iPhone is handy ensuring you can jot down your ideas and thoughts instantly. So give Quick Note a try and let me know how it's working out for you in the comments area. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.